Welcome back to BLs Above the Jack. Um, this is the um, the the hub the hub carrier and the um, the shaft. I forget what this is called. Um, this is, I've, I've been having unbelievable trouble with this. Um, it, it, it takes me around about an hour to get the original nut off. That was seized solid, and um, when I when I tried to put it back on, it had literally. I don't know if we can zoom this. Let me just get another light. I do have another light here. Let's have a look. A bit more light. Let's see, am I able to focus on that? It had lost its thread anyway. That, that's pretty smooth inside. And um, here's all the uh, little shards of, of, of thread that were stripped out. Those shards were wrapped rather neatly around. You know, I had to fish that out with a couple of pins. You know, it was it was wrapped quite neatly. So I bought another another nut this morning and I'm really having a dreadful problem getting that on as well. And um, it's totally gnarled and destroyed inside, but it is the correct thread. And there doesn't appear to be any broken threads here. But when this, I've taken, I've taken the shaft, the, um, uh, um, I've taken the shaft to the, um, the, uh, the, the suppliers that supply me the nut and they've measured this very carefully and it's actually stretched on one side i don't know if we can pick this up on camera if i roll this one side yeah we're not gonna be able to see it on camera but um there's a there's a piece missing there but that you see it's here we go can i get the bloody thing to focus Come on. Anyway, um, it's an autofocus and it doesn't know what to look at. So let me try and focus. There we go. Ah, yeah, we can see now. It's, it's kicked up very slightly over there. There's a piece missing. And these threads here are wider than those. Um, it's just mangled. It, it, from on initial inspection, it doesn't look too bad. Now this side's, I think, okay, but it's the other side. Ah, we can see, yeah, it just kicks up over there, but it, there's no way you cannot get the nut back on and it's, it's, it's ripping the thread out. That one side of the thread's okay, one side of the nut, and then the other side, it's, it's pulling it out a lot. Yeah, it's, all, it's all about 50% smooth. So excuse my filthy fingernails zoomed in like this, I'm sorry. Um, but yeah, you can see that, that nut's not happy. That's not going to survive. So I've had, and the long and short of it is I've had to order a new stub axle. Um, I've ordered it from SNNG Barrett. It's about 60 odd pounds. And I'm also going to get two brand new nuts. And that will fit straight in here. Um, this is one of the bearing uh, shells. Um, it needs to be tight on the back here. And the hub, the hub sits on there. So once again, I'm not going to get this job finished today. So... Uh, it is. Look, see what? There's something here. This this shouldn't be like that. This has been ragged about at some point. Um, I can't imagine really what had happened to it. I suspect somebody had had this off, had this off um, to replace the bearing. Wouldn't surprise me if they'd cut the original nut instead of unwinding it. Use a nut splitter. Split the nut. And that that nut is metric, not UNF, and they've forced that on with a with an air ratchet, and and done all sorts of damage. Now it was so unbelievably difficult to get off. I don't know whether the stretching happened when I was taking it off, or whether it went on. It's more likely the stretching happened when I was forcing it off. Because honestly, I can't tell you um, how how difficult a job that was. Um, a couple of hours, but anyway, it's knackered, and there's nothing I can do to save it. I could, you know, if I had all the machining tools, I could try and sort of re-thread that, but to hell with it. It's it's all scuffed up here anyway. Now, that actually doesn't touch anything, to be fair. Um, that just sits inside the hub, and it misses everything by about 10 or 15 millimetres. That would just be all covered in grease, and it, it doesn't, it's not, a, it's not a mating surface. But whatever's happened there, it looks like it's been in a vice, but I don't know. Um, once again, disappointed and frustrated, but um, there's nothing we can do. It's um, I've just got to wait, wait for the new one to turn up. Yeah, if I roll that, we can see it's sort of wriggling about, and it shouldn't be wriggling about. Yeah, 
Yeah, you can definitely see it wriggling. Yeah. But um, SNNG Barracks will have one of these to me by tomorrow.